rare move, Finance Minister P. Chidambaram has been overruled on a crucial policy decision. The Finance Minister has proposed discontinuation of some centrally sponsored schemes, but a full plan commission meeting chaired by the PM has chosen to go by the view of Deputy Chairman of the Planning Commission, Montek Singh Aluvalia, that the proposal should not be implemented in the next fiscal and should be done in a phased manner. Shubham Batra has more details and he joins us with that story. Shubham, tell us, what are you picking up? Well, that's right. The Planning Commission has opined against the Finance Ministry proposal and is going to continue with its allocations to all centrally sponsored schemes, even if they are less than uh, below the threshold of uh, 300 crore rupees in the next financial year. This disagreement comes just ahead of the beginning of the budget preparations. Now, the Finance Ministry had proposed that all centrally, uh, cent uh, centrally sponsored schemes less than the threshold of 300 crore rupees should be merged, which would have led to substantial savings and could result in the re reduction of the fiscal deficit. Now, sources in the Finance Ministry tell us that the planning commissions of the view that a more gradual approach to phase out or rationalize such social sector schemes be taken. The government had budgeted about uh, 1.8 lakh crore rupees last year on such schemes and that the process be followed over next two years, uh, you know, relating... Uh, relating to some schemes with smaller allocations. Now, this matter had come up in the meeting of the full planning commission two weeks ago. At least 44% of the total centrally sponsored schemes have an average annual expenditure of less than rupees 100 crores. The planning commission also agrees that these 44% schemes are, as a matter of fact, ineffective. In fact, if you remember, the finance minister has proposed a five-year fiscal consolidation plan which could see a reduction in fiscal deficit to 3% by 2016-17 and reducing the planned expenditure is part of that. Of course, it now remains to be seen where is the rabbit in the hat that the finance minister is going to pull out to really repair the fragile fisc. All right, Shubham. Uh, joining me to talk about this is CM Vasudev, former Economic Affairs Secretary. Thank you very much, Mr. Vasudev. Pleasure having you on the show. My first question, sir, how do you see this entire issue, the finance minister himself and the ministry wanting to phase out these kind of uh, schemes and the planning commission saying, no, let's wait on, let's continue with it. What would your view be, the first view on this? You know, this is not a very new uh, thing. Uh, it's the, this difference of opinion between finance ministry and planning commission over the size of the plan expenditure has been uh, a constant area of um, uh, difference of opinion. But I, I wouldn't see it so much as an issue relating to uh, containing the fiscal deficit per se. Um, but it is more to do, I think, with the quality of expenditure. And, of course, you have to see the quantity and quality both. But in the case of plan expenditure, it is more the quality rather than the quantity which needs to be looked into. And having a large number of centrally sponsored schemes especially in areas or subjects which are largely in the domain of the states, I think is not a very good idea. There have been many committees in the past also which have recommended phasing out of these schemes, merging of these schemes, giving block plan allocations to the states and letting them decide what is good for them and what is more suited to their needs. But somehow the pressure the interest within the planning commission and the central ministries who are uh, administering these centrally sponsored schemes, it has not allowed that to happen. And now to say that the planning commission is in favor of a gradual approach, I think is also not correct because this has been something which has been on the table for many years. And I think it was a good time to take this decision and uh, do some block uh, funding of the states and uh, the other point I think is that uh, that somehow uh, in the minds of the politicians, uh, the size of the plan expenditure is seen to be coterminous with the commitment of the government of the day on development, which again I think is a fallacy. And therefore the size of plan expenditure, whether it is the state or the center, it keeps on going up and the emphasis is more on the on the quantity of plan expenditure rather than the quality. And I think it is high time that the Planning Commission started focusing more 
on the quality of the expenditure rather than the number of schemes and the volume of expenditure. So I would certainly say that the finance ministry's view in this particular matter was perhaps the right one and planning commission should have paid greater heed to that view and focused more on, on quality of expenditure and clubbing plan schemes and really going by many of the reports which the committees which the planning commission itself had set up, they have recommended a reform in that area. So it's a little uh, unfortunate that it, it is not uh, really being implemented in that way. Mr. Vasudev, uh, good morning. Simple question to you is this was basically based on the recommendations of the BK Chaturvedi Committee report and Mr. BK Chaturvedi is himself a member of the Planning Commission. Uh, it's strange that uh, the Planning Commission itself has chosen to go against that recommendation. But my question to you is that this distinction between planned finance and non-planned finance, now the, uh, at a time when the FISC is uh, severely strained, do you need this distinction? Do you need at all any kind of planning commission intervention in uh, deciding of grants or allocations to the states? What's the logic? What's the economic logic of it? You know, the distinction between the plan and non-plan expenditure is uh, really an Indian innovation, but it has been there for many years and it somehow tries to make a difference between good expenditure and bad expenditure. Plan expenditure is treated to be synonymous with development expenditure and non-plan expenditure is treated to be synonymous with the non-development expenditure like running the state, the judiciary, the law and order, maintenance expenditure and all that. So I don't think that that is per se a bad thing if you are going to have that type of a classification that this is the volume of plan expenditure that you are going to incur, which is really expenditure on new programs, investment related expenditure and things of that type. So it does tell you that out of the total kitty that you have, so much you are going to spend on creation of new assets and on development, whether it is on social or the infrastructure side and so much you are going to spend on maintenance and, and the various organs of the state. So that is per se not a bad thing. But the other point that you are making that uh, the plan expenditure somehow has become a, a tool in the hands of the planning commission or the government of India to make discretionary allocations to the states. The states have a legitimate share in the resources of the center and a lot of it is transferred on a formula-based finance commission award, which is a good thing. Whereas the planning commission type of money, a lot of it is spent on central schemes, on subjects which are the state subjects. A lot of it is given as central as plan assistance for the states, again on a discretionary basis. So it is a, it is a good thing to look at that part of the allocation of money. How much is the discretionary element uh, that the central government wants to retain in transferring funds which are really meant for the states, which are really meant for spending on sectors which are within the state domain, which are state subjects under the constitution. That is the key issue which many state governments have been raising repeatedly with the central government that please do away with the discretionary allocation of funds, have a finance commission type of a formula based award of transfer of funds from the center to the states because under the constitution scheme of things, the states have much more responsibilities on the expenditure side and much less access to revenues and therefore you need a, a more transparent and a more formal system of allocation of funds from the center to the states. All right, Mr. Vasudev, we leave it there. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us like always and sharing your perspective mm -hmm. on this continuing battle, as Mr. Vaste put it.